Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well, guys, what am I doing? What am I doing? Guys, we have a Pokemon rip because apparently this is all I can find on shelf. Now, these are mystery boxes found from a Walmart. How do I open these? Uh, and, you know, they're kind of they're kind of brutal. They're kind of brutal. I, I don't have too much hope for these, but there is a chance that we can pull some vintage packs. Uh, as you can see on the box, I doubt we're going to get that pack. But what we can get possibly is Shining Legends. That is the pack that I've seen people actually potentially pull out of these boxes. Uh, but for the most part, we'll probably see some Darkness of Blaze, some Chilling Rain, and some Vivid Voltage. So, you know, still some potential in there. And uh, I like to try to review things every now and then. Get a little bit of content going, even though no one really watches the, the Pokemon here. But I mean, they don't until they do right so let's get right into it guys we have three packs per box uh, as you can see here more than likely not a vintage pack because they all have sleeves the vintage packs will not have a sleeve uh, we have a code card for I have no idea okay get rid of that uh, so yeah like I said darkness of blaze vivid voltage and chilling rain so let's open up the second box too See if we can get any luckier. Come on, let's see a little bit of a. No, we didn't. We didn't get one of the. We didn't get one of the vintage packs, guys. Which was, you know, to be expected. Let's see the code card. Again, I, I don't know. They don't tell me. Definitely old school. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. And once again, chilling rain. Uh, vivid voltage. This one seemed like it was thick for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, a darkness ablaze. So yeah, exactly as to be expected. Which means you're probably overpaying about $8 per pack for these. But uh, let's see if we can't get something decent out of these packs. Uh, so here we go. Chilling Rain. Again, I kind of forget the big chase cards from the series. Maybe I'll pop them on screen for you if I get a chance in editing. Uh, we'll do the code card to the side and we will get right to it, guys. Maybe I should try hiding those code cards so we don't spoil uh, the hit potential out of these packs. All right, so we have Old Cemetery, Impact Energy, Porygon 2, Mareep, Ralts, Cast Form, Snover, Yamask, a Rugged Helmet, Reverse Holographic, guys. And finally, we have an Urshifu, Single Strike. So there we go, guys. Urshifu is one of my favorite Pokemon. Him and Blastoise have taken over my top two. Uh, Urshifu for the Dojo. You know, just it just makes sense, right? So not too bad, uh, a holographic Urshifu. Where's the other Chilling Rain? Let's do them uh, kind of like in that kind of uh, order, right? We'll just do uh, one of each or get them all done, I mean. All right, so here is pack number two of Chilling Rain. Can we hide the code card so we don't know if there's a hit or not? Well, I mean, I can't hide it from myself, but I can hide it from you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, the special privilege of being the one ripping the cards. So Lightning Energy, uh, Kakuna. Path to the Peak, a Melanie, we got a Grokey, Rapid Strike, Mareep again, a Rock Ruff, Single Strike, there we go, to hang out with um, Urshifu, I think, um, a Swirlix, a Lapras, a Crumdominable, a Crab, Crab, a Crab Ominable, okay, yeah, like the Abominable, Abominable Snowman mixed with a Crab, because, you know, we're, we're, get, we're getting to the point where there's like a million different Pokemon so we're combining animals and uh, finally we have a Sir Farfetch'd from uh, the Glenarian region let's do the Darkness of Blazes the Darkness of Blazes next we have some glue oh this Darkness of Blazes is all stuck to everything here we go take the pack out there we go is that Grim Snarl? I forget uh, his name I'm getting better with the, the later generations you know slowly let's try to keep the code card off camera so we don't spoil it for you all right, here we go. We got Fire Energy. Try to keep my series separated. Um, this guy looking a little bit awkward on the beach. Just going for a photo. Uh, Corvus Squire, a Lunatone, a Wishy Washy, very sad fish. A Tauros, that's a pretty cool looking Tauros. Don't think I pulled him yet. A Diglett, a Sky, uh, Squovit. Yeah, sure, Squovit. Eating all the fruit he can get his hands onto, a Shelmet, a Soul Rock, and guys, finally, a Mimikyu. Non holographic. So, uh, nothing too big so far, guys. So far, Urshifu is the big winner of this 
of this quick little rip that we're doing. Like I said, you're overpaying, but in hopes of getting one of those vintage packs. Obviously, we did not get the vintage pack, so at this point now, we need a big hit, guys. We need something big to make up the value. All right, we have Fire Energy, a Soul Rock, a Relicanth, all these fish, I'm not really sure. A Yellhorn, a Rookadee, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Electrike, Dino, Pem uh, Pass Passimian, right, okay. Uh, Glimwood Tangle, and finally, guys, here we go. A Thievul non-holographic, so strike two, strike three, and strike, yeah, four. Here we go, on to five and six. Let's hope we don't strike out twice, guys. Here we go with uh, Vivid Voltage. Uh, we have Orbeetle on this pack. I do know him. I do know him. Oh, and I, I spoiled the white code, so that's good. At least, at least a good sign that there's something potentially going to happen here. All right, so we have the Leaf Energy, Dewat, um, a League Staff, uh, Krokorok, Krokorok. I need to watch people pronounce these, some of these ones, I, so I could actually uh, say them correctly. Uh, I think we do see a V showing up. We have a Rock Ruff, a Mud Bray, and finally we have a Dark V. So let's find out, guys. On the count of three, one, two, three. Uh, Drapion. Drapion V, so not bad. We'll stand up Drapion next to Urshifu. At least we got a little something out of these packs. And here we go, guys. Just like that, we are down to the last pack. <clears throat> Vivid Voltage. Can we get... Can we get the Chunky Chew? Can we get the pack open? That would be the first step. No. Okay, there, there, there it is. Again, guys, I'm a, a professional trained... Uh, in the art of ripping packs, so don't worry about it. Uh, we're, we're taking care of the cards. So here we go. A Dark Energy, Moo Moo Cheese, everyone's favorite, Sableye, uh, Gal Galvantula, Chatot, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, once again, Slugma, S Slugma, once again, Reverse Holographic. And the last card of this rip, guys, is going to be Crocodile, the, uh, the non-holographic. So yeah, uh, definitely a big gamble trying out these boxes. Like I said, if you don't hit the um, the vintage pack, it's really not worth it. But, you know, you can't get the vintage pack if you don't try, I suppose, right? All right, so that was it, guys. Quick episode. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.